bittersweet coming back here every time because I love it. It's my roots. I mean, I'm from Vancouver, north, a little more. Grew up on the island. So there is that like thread of West Coast moisture <laughs> going through all of our veins. I just want to make sure that he can still see if Ingrid's here. That would be really close. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking that because I'd like to get into that corner. Yeah. That would be nice. But what do you say? say that his music had a touch of melancholy and a touch of chaos um, mm -hmm. and you hear just these beautiful melodies but there's this interaction there's really this feeling of th that the music could just go anywhere so it's filled with just the, the ensemble dynamics there's so, so much interaction and surprise and and, and compositional structure this is endless these tunes they're like they're better than many standards actually you you can play them in so many different ways like Kenny's tunes are there's endless possibilities of doing things with them. So it's just the doors of possibility are all flying open and sending us through different rooms at when we least expect it. The challenge with this type of project to not to not try to recreate something to do a you know a poor imitation of the original or to deconstruct something to just ruin what's already there, but to take take some of this material and shape it in our own way and just to have our own perspective on it and make something that will Complement this complement his body of work. Kenny was live actually. My family was, was camping in the Canadian Rockies and we stopped by the Banff Jazz Festival. It really made a big impression on me, but at the time I'd never heard anything like it. He was playing with a, a big band playing of Afro-Cuban music and Kenny was clearly the was the guy. And I came out of there not even not even sure if I liked it or not, but I, I really it was really memorable. The first week at Banff at that point was just African music. Nobody even touched their instruments. We just danced and sang. And so I caught the tail end of that and then Kenny started up being, you know, big band music and small group, and it was mind blowing, but life changing in so many ways because I got like one on one time with him every day. I loved it and I identified with it immediately as far as the whole kind of ethereal, outer, outside of the straight ahead jazz sound because I think mostly because of the environment I was brought up in, which is kind of like where we are right now in Seattle. I, re I really got into his music later on when I was in college. I was studying at New England Conservatory, and a friend of mine told me, you, you haven't heard Kenny Wheeler's new high? It's the, the kind of blue of the 70s. Mm. They so I went, and that was all I needed to go down to the listening library and checked it out, and then I was then I was totally hooked. Kenny came out as a guest artist to NEC while I was there, and I got to play play his music with him and had the opportunity to play some free free duets with him. To, and he was just such a beautiful man and so kind and humble and the music was just phenomenal. So that, that was a very transformative time for me getting to work, work with Kenny. Steve is extremely well studied in the, in the area of keeping his ideas clear. I am scattered. And so he will like help focus me into it's going back to where we started and completing the idea and, and then at the same time my you know stubborn Danish side comes in and says but then we're gonna change it up like this yeah. and then 
we both come up with something in the middle that is, is ours. And it seems to be working kind of from tune to tune that way and, and from gig to gig where we're brainstorming, brainstorming over something and each of us takes our role and, and then we come together and then we just kind of fuse it into, into a band sound. Mm -hmm. It's inspiring just playing next to Ingrid, such a, um, a fearless and spontaneous improviser. It's, it draws a lot, a lot out of my own playing Playing next door and when we're when we're playing together, improvising together, um, takes things in all in all different all different directions. Hopefully we don't break up after this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all, I think we'll yeah, be okay. We're good.